Alrighty, um, so I'm gonna make a really quick video. This is not gonna talk about anything going on. Um, it's just gonna be some advice. Uh, our DMs have been blowing up on Amusement Insiders and a lot of people have been reaching out for advice or just to vent their frustration. Um, so I'm gonna make a quick video based off of some information that I've gathered today. And to be honest, uh, some of the, the, the way I've been reacting and the information I've been presenting has been pretty accurate so far. So all I ask is um, to please take what I'm saying, um, obviously with a grain of salt. This is all just speculation and me hearing through grapevines and blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Nothing's official into en until any of the parks um, make announcements. Um, but I feel like I have to make this video to help people out just based off of the DMs that I've been getting. So a lot of people have been stressing, well, I work for X park or I work for a park and I don't know what to do. I just lost my income. Um, what should I do? Oh, this sucks. I don't know what to do. I'm going to run out of money if I. So my advice to anyone that works at a theme park or works in a place or an entertainment facility like a casino, an airline, a cruise ship, a theme park, an amusement park, or large group gatherings um, is go seek out a temporary job if you can. Um, I know that's so much easier said than done, um, but I would go find work. I hear Costco's hiring like crazy. Grocery stores are obviously going to be hiring. Those would be two great places to look right now, just based off of the amount um, of staffing levels they're going to need to meet this supply and demand that's currently going on. Um, and uh, don't panic. It's literally going to be over with this summer. Um, I will say, though, that it is looking like it could end up going into late July or August at a worst case scenario. I'm still going to stick with the June date. Um, but for anyone hoping that theme parks are going to open up in May, <laughs> best of luck. They're not. Um, so I would prepare, honestly, to get a job that will hold you for the next two to three months or four months up, maybe all the way up until August. I'm hearing that Disney World is issuing refunds up till July 15th or whatever the date may be. That date might be incorrect, but it is June or July, mid-June, July, that they're offering refunds up until, um, which is not a good sign. They've sent home a whole lot of their staff. Um, through the college program, intern program, that tells you that they plan for this to be a while. And I'm not going to list any park's name in particular that I'm about to mention, but I can confirm that training is being cancelled at various parks across North America. Um, so they are not planning to open up early April, as they've been stating on some social media platforms. And I would honestly say that they will not be ready to open early May um, for any of the parks that have said that um, they're going to be still opening early May as well. There's no way that they'll be ready based off of the information that I've been provided. So if you work at a theme park, again, I, I easier said than done. Go find another job if you can um, or uh, go to the if you're a Canadian, go to the, the government's website. If you're American, I assume it's the same thing and apply for EI benefits, unemployment benefits. If possible, I've heard that the Canadian government especially is going to be um, approving uh, situations a lot quicker and they're, they're going to be presenting some more information on things you can do if you do find yourself unemployed. Um, so definitely there's that option as well. And uh, there's nothing to be um, sad about. There's nothing like don't stress. Like it's a very difficult time. It's a very difficult situation. The economy is crashing. So if you don't have a job or you're finding yourself slipping um, money-wise, like don't be sad. Don't be upset. It's It's happening to a lot of people. And um, it's just something uh, that everyone's going to have to get used to right now. And things will get better uh, this summer. Things will get better. This is just temporary. I think that a lot of people need to remind themselves of that. And social distancing is what's going to help. And unfortunately, social distancing means losing a lot of jobs and shutting down a lot of places of work. And unfortunately, it's going to screw over a lot of people. And that sucks. And there's nothing... We can unfortunately do about that other than work together um, and unite and, you know, find different forms of entertainment and fun. So we can come together and as a community, maybe the coaster community can, you know, really come together and strengthen itself at this current time in history or this current time of 2020 is a better way of wording it. And uh, yeah, just live 
through a different lens of humanity, I guess. Uh, <laughs> go out for walks, go out for hikes, explore, you know, your communities. It doesn't, it's not dangerous to go out for a hike. It's not dangerous to go out for a walk. It's still social distancing. Um, and just take extra precautions in washing your hand. But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video. Um, I really wanted to get that out there. You know, if you're really, if you're expecting your park to open April, no. If you're expecting your park to open May, no. You're gonna, if you're really relying on that income for April or May, you need to go look for a job now. And I wanted to be transparent with everyone. I wanted to speak out before parks in North America um, don't up until last minute. And then you're left panicking a day or two before your bills due. plan ahead. And if you have bills due in the next three to four weeks, you need to go apply for a job now to the best of your ability or get yourself ready for that unemployment, um, to help you out. But yeah. Anyways, hopefully this video helps anyone that had any questions or concerns or, you know, is expecting parks to open in April or May. Um, yeah. Hopefully it helps. I'm so sorry. Um, it really sucks. And it makes me really sad to talk about stuff like this. But uh, yeah, um, share this video for anyone you think it may help, I guess, if someone needs to hear this message. Um, yeah, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.